Yo, what is good? What is good? What is good, beautiful people? Chris, you know who I be. Good doc, Dr. Mike TV, back again once again with an instant classic, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to divulge some information to y'all a little bit. But before I get into it, y'all make sure y'all get the likes up, make sure you subscribe, make sure you notify, make sure you become a part of the good doc, Dr. Mike TV family, and uh, make sure you show your boys some support and some love in that manner. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually, now that I think about it, this is the absolute first time I am addressing this particular issue that happened with me probably about 2017. Uh, since my whole YouTube career started, was it 2017? Maybe 2018, I can't remember. But there was one video that I made a while back. It was my first ever experience, like my real authentic I've been there, but this was my first ever authentic experience of Bonifacio Global City. Big shout out to my boy BGC Mike for showing me around. And also big love to my man Benny, aka JD Orca, who accompanied me on this trip. That particular video will be tagged. I'll tag it at the end of the video so you guys can watch it. I'll try to leave it in the uh, description area below. Okay? But I can't remember the title of the video, but it was my first ever BGC video. Now... Why was that video the video that damn near got me canceled? This is the reason why. Welcome to the real world. <laughs> that that right there is the real world. This right here is a facade, man. This right here is real Philippines. Ah, over there, somewhere over there. And that's a beautiful thing. Enjoy. So as you see, your boy, in the beginning, the first like five, ten seconds of the video, I'm pointing over to, uh, uh, is it Pasig or Pasig? One of those places. I was standing at the top of SM Or, chilling. And I said, yo, that right there is the real world Philippines to me. This shit over here is a facade. Man, did Filipino people go ape shit crazy, yo. They was mad at your boy. They were... Mad as hell. If you could read the comment section, the comment section on that particular video has been cut off since. I got tired of trying to explain myself, but at the time, I was just like, man, fuck it. It's just not worth it because nobody's going to hear what I'm trying to say. But in that particular statement that I made, I was basically trying to say, yo, that's what I know the Philippines to be like. Granted, facade may not have been the best word choice. I got that. But basically, I was saying... This right here, BGC, to me, was not representative of the country, right? That's all I was trying to say. Like, Pasig or Pasay, what is that one of them areas? I forgot off the top of my head. I've been home too long. That right there represented the Philippines to me, the authentic Philippine experience, basically. But in that 10-second slot, man, they tried to drag me. And at that time, I might have had, like, maybe 3,000, maybe just hit 3,000, 2,000, 3,000 subscribers or something like that. Man, they wanted to cancel your boy quick. And basically, after reviewing that video in that first 10 seconds of the video, because that's really the only negative aspect about the video that people actually had a problem with, I've decided to at least address it and say, yo, it wasn't in the term of disrespect, because I probably made other videos that <laughs> some Filipinos may not like as a foreigner. But, you know, in hindsight, now that I think about it, if I had to describe the Philippines in one word... It's an oxymoron, ladies and gentlemen, so keep up with me. I would say that the Philippines is very primitive, progressive. I don't even know if that's a hyphenated word, but I'm a hyphenated today. It's going to be primitive, progressive. That's the absolute best way to describe the Philippines because the Philippines, to me, in most areas, the majority of the areas in the Philippines, if you ask me, very retro throwback. <laughs> you feel me? It's very retro throwback. Uh, the buildings are relatively moderately small. They're handmade. Uh, they're handcrafted. People build these houses with hollow block and all that stuff. No, there's not a lot of sky rises in the entire country. Yes, Manila is popping. Manila's got very big buildings. Cebu, you might find some of that even in Davao City. Got a couple of them. But overall... It's a very moderate, you know, small building type landscape. A lot of these buildings are built by hand. Um, and if you go there, it's like really like, yo, man, this shit reminds me of like the countryside of the United States. 
So I kind of give it the tagline of primitive progressive because it's holding on to the historical part of an evolutionary period to an extent. Uh, but progressive side, man, if you talk about social media access, granted the infrastructure and the internet and all that stuff may not be great. The Philippines, boy, let me tell you this. The Philippines has a very, very, very strong online presence from the progressive aspect. They have a very, very strong online presence. I once reached out to this guy. He was Filipino and I want to say Hispanic Filipino. He, he wanted to get a channel started and I told him, look, man, I was joking around with him. I'm like, yo, man, if you want to build your channel or if you want to build a following, yo, just tell people you're Filipino. And I was joking with him. I said, bro, but if you tell anybody you're Filipino, I promise you, they will ride or die for their own. That's what I've learned about Filipino people. They are ride or die for their own, and they're ride or die for anybody that represents the country. Respectfully, even if you have something that may not be positive to say, as long as you say it in a way that is not downing or degrading, you're good to go. Because most people can ex accept your take as a foreigner in the Philippines. A lot of them say, if you don't like the country, bro, get out my country, bro. Yeah, you'll get a lot of those guys. But other than that, a lot of them are very accepting and respectful of the way as long as your commentary is respectful in return. But like I was telling my guy, I'm like, yo, man, if you're Filipino, bro, tell them you're Filipino and, you know, embrace your Filipino side or culture in a video or something and your channel is going to grow or at least your content or that particular video is going to skyrocket because look look filipinos love to represent their own they're very ride or die for their own especially if it's in a positive light he put out that video i cannot remember the name of that video because i told him that probably three or four years ago and that video probably had well over a hundred thousand views probably within a few months and that's when I realized how strong the social media presence is for the Filipino people. Because, of course, if you go through your channel, you can check your demographic. You can check all of the things where your videos are more popular and, you know, stuff like that. So you could do that. And that's how we figured out how he was able to penetrate the market. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. That's talking about the progressive side of the social media aspect in reference to the strong um, presence of the Filipino people online. Back to the primitive side, like I said, the way that it's built, like it's like a throwback. It, some people say it reminds them of Africa in the most part, you know, in reference to the style of buildings and stuff like that. Now, if you go to your major cities, of course, I'm speaking more or less along the provincial side when I talk about the primitive aspect. But you go to any major city, of course, you're uh, Manila, of course, um, like I said, the heart of Cebu um, and of course, Davao. You're going to find that a lot of the infrastructure is, you know, very well developed. You know, but I've just found it interesting how it seems as though the Philippines is progressing, but also not progressing at the exact same time. I don't even know if that's possible, but I guess it is. Now you can blame it on a whole bunch of things and speculate on a whole bunch of different reasons as to why the progression of the country is going either at a slower pace than you would um, think or, you know, or not. You can always say what you want to say, but in my personal opinion, what I've experienced through my time in the country is that the Philippines is very primitive progressive. Although the infrastructures in most areas seem to be rather a throwback when you go back to it, like, I've been to places, and I'm just throwing this out there as an idea. I made a video on this, too. I probably blocked it because it had, like, a 90 views or something. But I was talking about how the Philippines, you know, some places still use floppy disk. They use a lot of USBs and stuff nowadays, but, but like, I've been to places where they use floppy disk. I'm like, when the last time I ever used a floppy disk? You dig? And, you know, places where, you know, they still burn CDs and stuff like that instead of using the USB and streaming and download. Like, there's still some areas where they still do things that I thought were pretty much outdated or things where, and I felt, hey, they don't do that anymore, <laughs> like where I'm from. But I love it, man. I think it's a perfect blend, if you ask me, of both. It's the perfect blend. Primitive progressive. 
Sounds pretty fancy, doesn't it? <laughs> I could rock with it. And I hope that you guys could rock with it too. I mean, there's a lot of other ways that you can say that the Philippines is very primitive, progressive. And I would love you guys to share in your experiences. And I want you to leave them down in the comment section below. Tell me why you believe the Philippines is a primitive, progressive country. That's all I ask. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this clarified some things about a past video. I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know the rules. Make sure y'all get the likes up, man. Make sure you subscribe to the Good Docs content, man. Pop, pop t-shirts, pop, pop mugs available. Y'all know where to find them, man. Go to my community tab. I'm pretty sure that there is a tab for that. You just click on it. Y'all can go ahead and get your merch. Good Docs merch, all right? Patreons, the whole nine should be listed in the link in the description area below. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been fun, it has been real, but you know what time it is. It is time for me to get to getting. So, with that being said, the good doc is officially out. I at least not go by alone, which means time for me to go. Uh, bye bye. As always, love you guys. Maokita. Bye bye. Peace.